What would you say we're missing from the RC hobby? An affordable one eighth scale rally car. I knew that's what you were gonna say. So here you go, this is brand new from Charisma and it's a new M48S. The M48S is actually quite an old chassis. That box size is really cool. Look at it, that looks awesome, it's really nice. Anyway, what was I saying? The M48S, quite an old chassis, and I had the 959 version, which was the very first version of this. But I don't believe they were that popular, and I, I got mine, oh, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. It looks so good. We'll have a look at it in a minute. Um, I got rid of my 959. It was brand new box. I got it in a massive collection that I got ages ago. And I got rid of it and I've regretted it ever since because I think it's a really nice platform. This one is slightly different. We'll talk about that in a minute, but let me just show you that. That is a nice bit of art. I mean, no disrespect to Charisma, but if they didn't have their logo and all this printed over it, that'd be good to cut out and put on the wall. Sorry, Charisma. The legendary Colin McRae. So this is one ape scale, it's brushless. What we got there, oil filled dampers, high speed survey, independent suspension, time aspect tires, high speed power unit, full metal gear transmission. What I like is they've called it almost ready to run. It doesn't come with a battery and a lot of companies will say ready to run and it's like, well, I now need to buy a battery and batteries can be quite expensive. So thank you Charisma for being a little bit more clear on the box, it's almost ready. As you can see, I haven't looked at this yet. Oh. Best bit. Wow. This looks good. Very good. Now, a little fun fact about me. When I left school, I was a car mechanic and I worked at a Subaru dealership between 96 and 98. And I can tell you this, the Impreza Turbo, when it was released, was an absolute beast there you go 1997 nobody really knew its capabilities and we used to upset a lot of people in what they thought were fast cars back in the 90s when we were out test driving these things the proportions of this look really good really nice another fun fact one of the fun things about these is when i was working for subaru it was in the era in the 90s where these new sort of smart ecus were coming out and they'd learn your driving style we were given instructions to take these on a 20 mile drive on their PDI, their pre-delivery inspection, take them on a 20 mile drive and drive them hard so that ECU was at its peak performance for when the customer come to get it. How true that was, I don't know, but as a 17, 18 year old, <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Right, what we got under here? So this is a longer wheelbase than the original M48. The 959 was a shorter wheelbase. This brace is new as well. And the old one had an alloy chassis. This is a this is a composite. G is it G12, G10? I like it. Looks nice and neat. I like all this that they've put on there. And it's got skid guards at the front and at the rear. So should kind of save your chassis a little bit. Underneath we've got a 540 sized brushless sport tune motor. I don't know what KV it is. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. Would have been nice to see like a 550 size. There's loads of room in it, look. Loads of room, but it's ready to run. I mean, let's not complain just yet. There's your steering server there. Again, I'll put some specs on the screen if I can find them. Is it a front drive shaft, rear drive shaft? Has it got a center diff? Yep, it's got a centered diff, that is nice. That means the drivability is gonna be really good. Suspension feels good. There's your ESC there. Now I think, I think it may be 2S only. If it is only 2S, I'm hoping it's geared well enough to, well, not be too disappointing on speed and punch. I was so excited to show you the car that I went off my usual script. Um, instructions, you get some stickers in here. There is a leaflet about the ESC here. Yeah, Max 2 Cell LiPo. Oh, the ESC does look like it's programmable. Transmitter, that is a giant transmitter. That is huge. Reminds me of one of like the early pistol grip ones of the 80s and 90s. That's massive. It's got steering trim, throttle trim. It's got a button there that says return or FTN key. And then it's got ATV there, which is either your steering dual rate or your throttle. That is massive. Right, where were we? So we've got sway bars at the front and at the rear. Non-adjustable camber and tow. Non-adjustable camber at the rear as well. Metal drive shafts there. I think this is probably gonna have bearings all round. 
It's got metal gears. There's your G whatever it is chassis. Bottom arms, same as the rear, I think. Oil field adjustable shocks. There's your battery tray. It looks like you're gonna have to put a battery on its side, which shouldn't be an issue. If it's 2S only, then well, 2S batteries should fit there, no problem. Tarmac spec tires that feel nice, sticky rubber, actually. Got foams by the looks of it. I think the rears might be thicker than the front. They certainly look it. Precision measuring device, a little bit of tape across the rear and across the front, yeah. So wider rear tires to the front. Got a nice rear valance there as well. And body looks like, yeah, nowhere to put any LEDs in that, but that body is very nice. If you're wondering about size, there it is next to a one tenth rally car. That's a LC Racing. And then that's a one tenth Tamiya body, much bigger. Right, we have a battery in there. Switch the transmitter on. 8,000 milliamp hour, 100 C2S. So it's gonna give it the best opportunity to, well, impress me. Hmm. So that little dial there, that is your steering dual rate. Servo, it's not the quickest. Wheel speed. I don't know, again, it doesn't seem, what's this do? That does nothing. Let's go see how fast it is and give it a rip around. Right then, see how fast this is. Mm. When you say brushless, <laughs> you expect like insane power. That, oh, come on, charisma. <sighs> Definitely brushless in there, isn't it? 18. Hmm. I was going to take it on a bit of tarmac, but I think it's not going to do it justice. I reckon this surface is really going to sort of showcase this as actually, it's not fast, but it can be fun. It's still baffling me why they didn't make it 3S capable. You can get 3S capable ESCs for like absolutely nothing on like AliExpress. It would have cost them no more. <laughs> I was intrigued to see if it will run 3S. So I've just got a 3S. I've not switched it on yet. I've literally just plugged that in. Actually, let's <laughs> let's put it on there. It bleeped three times. It run. Wow. <laughs> How fast is it on 3S? Let's go find out. It is August. August in the UK. It's 19 degrees <laughs> and raining. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, British summer. Whoa, it's slippery. Should be enough room here for a full speed run. So run 3S at your own risk. That's full speed. And that is still, yeah, that is still not great. Wow. <laughs> I am still not impressed. 26 on 3S. Right, anyway, where were we? I mean, it's great fun on this surface. It's just not really, well, it's not a WR8, is it? A WR8 on tarmac would absolutely rip. Shred tires and everything. I mean, this does slide on tarmac. If we didn't do a speed run, I'd probably be more impressed with this. It's only because I know that it's not all that fast. It's slow, but I don't want to dismiss it yet. It actually slid around quite well. And even though it's not like tire shredding, it was good fun. On the dirt, loose gravel on that road that had some sort of loose gravel as well. It does drive like a rally car. And of course, it looks really good as well. It's such a shame that it only does 18 mile an hour. Most brushed stuff 
is about that speed or faster. This is a one eighth scale brushless rally car. It's not great. So I took the gear cover off as well and there's no room to gear up from what it looks like. It's maxed out on the mount by the looks of it. Anyway, I'm not putting this on the shelf to gather dust. I reckon we've not a lot of money spent on this. We could put a bigger, faster motor in there, get it to run on 3S. And I reckon we could make this into a potential tire shredder. So I definitely think there's a part two to this coming soon.